back. Well, it's International Color Day, and as much as we love, <laughs> Snuck me as much as we love celebrating the rainbow, wouldn't it be nice to find out what our wow colors? That are? would be here to help us with our hues from House of Color in Lincoln Park and North Shore are Beth Soria and Ashley Lynn. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Thanks for having us. Welcome. So I've seen this all over TikTok. Getting your colors done. What does it do? Getting your colors done is the act of looking at your skin's undertones and identifying what your best colors are. Uh. So we're not taking away colors, it's adding colors, getting specific into the shades of colors that help you brighten and freshen, help you look, but most importantly, help you feel your best every day. So take us through a shortened version of this process. So we have our clients come with no makeup on yeah. and natural <gasps> lighting. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. Strips you down to your most vulnerable. Yeah. yeah. But um, it's, it's important. Yeah. And so what we do is we use a series of precision dyed drapes to first identify if your undertones are warm or cool. Yeah. And she has warm undertones. So if I take this right color for Ashley, or actually I'll take the wrong color first. Okay. Okay. So, so this is not a good, we know this already. This is not already, a but. great color on Ashley. Oh my God. So, oh. so if I put this green <laughs> on Ashley. That's like hospital green though. Is yeah. that a good color on anyone? Yes. It is. It is. Yeah. It's on the wrong undertone, yeah. colors can look inexpensive or sterile. Mm -hmm. But on the right undertone, it can highlight that person and actually elevate the look of the color. So the exact same color can look different based on colors that work and don't work for you. This is a what we would call a wrong green on Ashley. Okay. It's a okay. warm undertone. This is a cool green. Show us a right green. The right green. Well, the green here. you have on is the right green. Right. It, it looks is. really Underneath. nice. But you yes. see this is a little bit too washed out. Yeah, it makes you look a little eyes, paler. Yeah, a little yeah, yeah. like my face it is makes being your brought face down. look green. Yeah. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It yeah. does. Whereas if I take her right green, Ooh. like the color shirt she's wearing today, mm -hmm. it warms her skin, it brightens her skin. It's almost like she got a facial, right? Mm -hmm. The under eyes start to brighten. It did. I, it almost looked like you put you swiped with a <laughs> so filter. Felt, and I know that you wear a lot of blue to bring out your eyes. I do, right? So but this isn't about that, right? No. So you, in every specific color palette, there's a blue in every shade. Um, so it's about kind of identifying the shade of that color. Color that mm -hmm. works for you? Is it royal blue or is it that duck egg or more robin's egg? That horrible. <laughs> you actually give people a wheel of color so when you go shopping, it's practical and you can hold it up to different outfits. That's right. right. So you'll get a color fan with all of the shades of colors in your specific color palette. So it makes shopping easier, mm -hmm. saves you time, and hopefully in the end, it saves you money because you're not investing in things that aren't honoring you. And real quick, this can go into your makeup, makeup, hair color, jewelry color. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Wow. Before and after, where you told somebody to go redhead, and it oh my gosh, they look like right. a different person. Yeah. She was a warm undertone and had cool hair, cool makeup. All we simply did was gave her recommendations on warming up her hair and makeup. This is great, and, and it made her show up. I want to do this. We have to do this. We literally We're gonna do, do this. this. You're gonna, yes. ratings are gonna go through the roof. I know.